Hello, this is Skillogan8, and on this episode of God and Bro Z, we are going to take on the Dork Shaman again, except this time for our promoted Pegasus Knights, so hopefully this won't be a drastic failure like it was last time. <laughs> Gaiden Ball Z. Yes. Really? Yes. Actually, Steel stole that. From the comments. And you know what? Yeah. This isn't what I meant to do. Regardless, you have to do it anyway. Nah, I don't feel like doing it. Well, what are you doing? Well, whatever. This was an axe and I pressed the wrong button, okay? Like, hey, look, there was a mummy. What? It's a mummy. Oh, it is a mummy! Oh, cool. Are there any more mummies? Wait, this is a mummy. This is a mummy. These are all mummies! Whoa! So I guess that's a blessing in disguise. Maybe Robin took pity on you. Um, I'm not sure it's a blessing in disguise, seeing as we're clearly in a swamp and not in disguise, but... Cool! Sweet. You are all about fever, thievery and fun this way. Which means it's a normal day for you. What? I mean, I would say that, but... Sure, so like, who is gonna get levels and stuff? Ideally, I would like to get, um, Silk some levels, but... We'll see if she can actually do that. But hey, look at that, mummies. And while well, it would've been nice to have this beforehand, uh, the dragons were kind of blocking away. So we could've taken care of them. Whatever. Yeah, this was just a happy little accident. Remember kids, there's no such things as mistakes. There's just happy little accidents. Okay, so let's use Robin to chip the health down. Nope, never mind. So Why much not? for giving XP to Silk. Oh. I mean, there's one right there, but... Yeah. Yeah, there is, but she can't get to it. Oh, she didn't give her the angel. Oh, she does have the angel ring. Probably a talker, so. Yeah, I guess I'll just uh, leave it like this and let the mummies come home. He got 19 XP just for attacking it, without killing it? Mm-hmm. That's wow. what I would expect. He, these pinatas drop more, more experience than I expected. Nope, still outside range. Well, that one's coming closer, so... Yeah. Who needs most experience? Jesse's actually kind of a high level. A little bit less. Who is both the level up Sure Saber? Wow, 72 experience, nice. And he got skill and HP. Lovely. Alright, this one's gonna go to Bowie. Okay, maybe we can get at least one for Silk. Not Silk, Jenny. Whatever, I get him confused. They have the same Jenny's coming to Heroes! Yay, I mean, I'm a bit more excited for May. But Actually, I'm... Jenny's skill looks really interesting. The one that makes it so that when it triggers, it removes the the damage penalty from healers. It, 
basically makes healers usable as damage. I guess, yep. you know, or I could use Sword or Nino and not have to bother with his skills. I mean I guess if somebody True. I guess if somebody like really likes some of the healer characters, I guess that's cool. They could actually get more use out of them. Hello! Seriously though, I like um Ooh, nice magic. Excellent. That is exactly what she needed. Oh god, what is this skill that I've got on so I think it's called Heavenly Light. It heals everybody. When it triggers, it heals everybody. Not just your target. Uh, yeah, we could potentially get Jenny up to 12. And then we go back, and then we go back, and then we promote her, and then we have to fight through the swamp again. Yay. Well, actually, no, because there's another temple coming up, I think. I guess. So it turns out we have an opportunity to level up Jenny after all. Or, or that. This is why down here still alive. Nope. Our boy took care of it. Bring it on. Oh wow, she actually is going to come with level up. Well, this was an unexpected blessing. I, I believe level 12 is when she can promote. Yes, I believe it is. Yeah. See, I, I would have done that at Dragon Shrine, but the problem is that she only did like one damage to the dragons and. She got like one experience from it, so she wouldn't have gotten any level ups until I specifically got a dragon down to one health so she could kill them. Mm -hmm. Anyway, though, it doesn't really matter because, well, she got luck and she got deer magic. And she can be promoted. Oh dear, I wonder what that does. Does that. Does that, tra that up later. transform our allies into deers? And, well, that's a wonderful level up. Ooh, to level up again. Wow, that's a lot of EXP for not <laughs> killing him off. What does deer do? It cat. It's fourteen health. Look that up. Or I could just, you know, try it. We don't know what it does, so why try it? Let me just look it up. Because that's why you try it, so you know what it does. And Jesse should get a level up here. Nice. And more skill and HP. Wonderful. Okay, so white magic deer. I'm looking it up right now. It's like... What? It completely removes monster units from the map. I say. Does that include Jerg Zombs? I know, I right? It does. Well, you know, I guess that would have been useful for the Dragon Zombie map <laughs> as well, huh? That is a thing? That seems overpowered as fuck. But okay, you know what? Get, did nobody get experience though, right? No. Well, I, I, I guess yeah. that's the trade-off, but you know what? For considering um, how much how much the sheer insane volume that some summoners summon. I feel it's pretty nice to have. Wow, I wish we had some that Some summoners summon. I feel like start a like, tongue twister. Some summoners summon summer summons. Also, apparently it was nerfed in Echoes. Good. Anyway, back to Dolk, who, you know, this dork from the Dark Realm, um, yeah, beat us up with his summoning, so. Send in the Peg Sisters to go destroy everything, so. Which one of them has the... Yeah. 
Well, now we know we can do that. Or even if we did, didn't have them, even if we had um, Jenny to 12, we could have just... just used the deer spell. That could have worked too. But, you know, me trying to play this game without grinding, and um, you guys saw what happened. Exactly. No, you've been told on multiple occasions. Yeah, you need to grind. Well, I want to see what happened if you don't, and now we know. So yeah, it's not like other Fire Emblems where you can just play the story maps and yeah, that'll be perfectly fine. Unless you, you favor experiences specific units so they can achieve like certain levels, certain spells, certain promotions by certain times, but you don't really know that unless you've actually played a game. Anyway, I guess Gaiden is even more different. And meanwhile, Atlas just chilled over in the swamp. No, she doesn't mean to move. Okay, that's just two. Make sure the snipers don't have anything so yeah, they won't yeah, be super effective. Yeah, sniperinos, they have 12 power. Est has 15 defense. Why she got a lot of defense, so she will take like one damage from the snipers. Paula has twelve. And Katya also has twelve, so basically they'll take like no damage from the snipers. And no so, yeah. no meaning what? What about the Myrmidons? They have Yeah, eleven power. What about the what about yeah, the wizards? They're not gonna take anything. Recover, magic power. Explore the Explorer. Okay, this one's higher level. Okay, this one has slime. So just just that one really. Okay, how are we going? Oops, snipe him. I guess. I mean, she's only going to, she's only going to take one damage, and you know, physic. If they even hit. Is there even a point to move the rest of the units up? Hmm, who knows. Uh, it, I mean, it will hurt them because they'll take damage from the swamp, but... I'm not gonna bottom move in Valbo. And Bowie's not that far from promotion too. I mean we can go to the Lost Woods after this. Well I don't think we have a choice. I think this is kinda of the next place you have to go through. Yeah, it turns out these neighbors can't even hit him. Oh, there we go. There's the sniper power. Wow. So yeah, how about those Jurg Zoms? Not... well, okay, not quite. No, they're fine. There we go, wow, Pala one-shots them. Nice power, girl. Okay, well, the way to the boss is slightly blocked off, so, uh... We'll just take all these guys out. It's kind of a waste of us, but whatever. Yeah, I mean, may as well, just... I mean, the boss does have death magic. Oh, are you serial? So... Yes, I'm Rice Krispies. Huh. 
Now, if I was a cereal, what kind of cereal would I be? Raisin Bran. You know, I actually very much like Raisin Bran. I'll take it. My grape nuts. I've never had that. I think I would prefer raisins over grapes in cereal dough. It's not grapes though. Then why is it called that? I don't know. Because the people at Post, I think it's Post, right? I have no idea. No, I don't know. Are just weird at naming cereal. I am thinking of Honey Graham Oats. I think I've mentioned that to you guys before. What? It, it comes in a yellow box. Yeah, I think you said that yeah. last. Okay, here we go. Here's the jerk zombs. One, two. Three, it doesn't really matter, they're just four, gonna suicide. Six. Seven. seven. Eight. Did you okay. just summon eight? So we, Again, yeah. they're just yeah. gonna suicide. Or we could just cast deer to clear them out. Yeah, I could no. do that. I mean, you could, but... Eh, whatever. Yeah, okay. well, yeah, you see, last time we were trying to vote to promote it, Falconades. And then afterwards, when I tried to when I tried to get through it, yeah, someone basically kept summoning six, seven, eight. There's no way I can... Gonna get that. This guy kinda needs to die. This guy. The wizard. Which wizard? The wonderful wizard. The wi one that's no, the one that's really close by to the Peg Sisters. Why well, it's cause not doing anything. What do you mean? The you wonderful... for six damage. Oh. Yeah, everybody else was attacking for one. The wonderful wizard of Oz. The wonderful wizard that dies. The wonderful wizard that dies. Why aren't they hitting? Magic. That's why. Magic. Come on, what is it that dies? Cool. Nice crit. Well done, Katria. Yeah, how far can those guys move? Not very far. Yeah, I'm no, gonna... I'm talking about the the dark zones. Eight, one, two, three, seven, eight. They cannot reach our current location. So they will literally be suicide from the Peg Sisters. Well, I don't know. I mean, I think they're not alive to begin with, so. Uh huh. Well, that's a bit dodgy. It's very nice that bows are not super effective against Pegasus. Because if they were, that would make things significantly more difficult. You know, I was gonna say it'd be cool if each of the Pegasus sisters had a different colored sprite, but nope, same sprites for everyone. There's blue before, and now they're pink, there's no green, so all his color is left out. Okay, well, this is number three. Right, if you can level up out of all this. Right. Yep, skip turn, skip turn. I mean, yeah, this is gonna keep happening. I seem to be attacking Paula for some reason. Okay, never mind, I miscalculated. Well, that's cool. We'll make cool. Maybe Robin will get some more experience. Okay, one more. 
Wow, what a difference this makes. Consider healing. Oh, at least. Yeah, so, um, I guess we. First of all, we take out the seed. Eh? I guess. I was gonna say, just leave him to. And she got power and defense. Sweet. Uh... S, attack the wizard. Mediocre wizard that dies. And now, Kala can attack him. Yes, but first we'll heal. Actually, a good idea. Thank you. Yes. The wonderful, the mediocre wizard that dies. The first one was wonderful, this one's just mediocre. Of course. She's going to kill it. Yeah, that's why I want to use... Sure, let's use fire. Sure, Robin's gonna get level. Or perhaps not. Well, this is not a good situation to be in. Actually, no, this is... F Speed 7. 5, but the bow drops him. <sighs> that complicates things, okay. And a Noma is... 15. 9 times 2. Uh-oh! Uh-oh! The drug zone could potentially defeat Noma. Not that that would be a big loss, but, um... Yeah, the drug zone could defeat Noma, so... You... How much damage would Excalibur do, though? Oh, boy. That miss was actually extremely costly. I'm not here to decide you could just use Angel. Yeah, I wanted to level up Robin. What does Arrow do? Sure. Okay, that works. Arrow that is works, very... but he, but he needs healing next turn. Well, he's not within range of any enemies, and the swamp. Is... You say you yes. said that the last time, and this guy could summon dragons, so. Yes, but the dragons don't move on the same turn or someone. This is the awakening, okay? We don't have the same turn reinforcements. Thank goodness for that. Yeah. That was a mistake. Same turn reinforcements, I mean. I love how you get EXP for dodging. You get EXP from getting it from being shot in the face too. Uh oh. So now, I guess, taking out this wizard, I guess, would be kind of a priority. Mm -hmm. Then notice how the summoner did not summon there. Interesting. Okay, cool. I love for Paula. And she got power. Nice. 23 power. Wow, that's pretty impressive. Cool. Cool cat. So who is it most in need of healing? Probably might be Katria. All, all of them. So I might want to heal Noma. And so the healing at 
adventures continue. Robin. For the kill. Yep. Now he's gonna level. Wow, 20 experience, cool. And he got health. Uh, yes, um, Robin's reincarnated form is not growing very well. He can do better once we get him promoted again. But that goes for everyone. That's dumb. Yeah. Summoner dude, summoner dude ain't, isn't summoning. Maybe because he saw what the Pegasus sisters did to uh, his videos. That's not the button mm -hmm. I meant to press. Miss clicks. That's okay. I guess there appears to be no pressing hurry, so we can just um leave that one alive. Robin. I guess heal someone. Paula. Cool. Okay, I guess he doesn't want to be finished. Can we triangle attack? Yeah. If I can, I mean, spatially, can we move our units into a position that would allow that? Yes, we can. So, uh, Est has the highest resistance, so I'm gonna let Est do that. Catria is gonna have... finish off this guy. Alright, so he has death magic, but triangle attack to fish him off, right? Here we go! Mega Pegasus Falco Knight triangle attack, go! Or she misses. Come on! There we go. Ooh. Yes, yes, yes. Back to where it came from, Dork. And now let's go Dork's fault. Dork's fault. What goodies await us here? Okay. A mysterious blue tile. I don't know what this is, so I'm gonna save just in case. I'm pretty sure this is the entrance to the Lost Forest. Yeah. Ooh. Or the Lost Woods, whatever. That's exactly what it is. Interesting. Apparently, so this explains why we, we can't just go up into the Lost Woods. Apparently, we need to teleport into them. Mm -hmm. Right, but that will be something that happens in the next episode of God and Ball Z. So, yeah, if you enjoyed the video, give it a like, subscribe if you haven't already. And next time, we're into the Lost Woods. This is Steel Moon 8, signing off.